Hello, all your freaks around the world. It's me, Paul, back again in my studio, Warsaw, Poland, talking to you once again. Today, I've got a video for you that was actually my schedule and I was about to shoot and publish it in just two weeks from now on. But the situation changed. The news is that Universal Audio have just launched their new platform called Spark. And yes, this is the moment that some of the plugins from Universal Audio go native. You can run them in your DAW without any DSP cards or other hardware from Universal Audio. It's a major change. And of course, I am a heavy Universal Audio user. I have three octa-core cards in my uh, machine. Mm, yeah, and that's gonna be a change for me too. And I was concerned about the future of uh, my Universal Audio plugins. Now I've got some answers, but no, it's not going to be a review of Spark platform. I have to warn you, why? Because Windows version of Spark is coming fall 2022. And yes, thank you again, Universal Audio, for putting Windows people on the second place. Again, do you remember all the mess with Luna system? Windows users are not able to use Luna until today is just a Mac-based system. So I cannot review this for you because yes, I'm a PC, but I will take a look and I will try to answer the question. Where are you going, Universal Audio? And well, I really do believe that this question, where are you going, Universal Audio, kind of a philosophical one, can be answered just very today, because this is what we have. Let's take a look. Spark's got even its own subpage on um, Universal Audio website. And yeah, create music with the best gear ever made. A collection of legendary studio hardware and instruments plugins for a low, monthly price. The first info is that it's paid monthly. It's a subscription model. I don't like subscriptions and I'm avoiding them as much as I can. Try 14 days for free. Let's get started. And now I can see that it's 149 per year, which is a fair price, I have to tell you. Yeah, because, well, it's a generally price of a single UAD plugin. And if I wanted to buy like 10 of them or 15 of them, if they are discounted, so like 15 plugins means 10 years of using this platform and all the plugins that it offers, that sounds still like kind of a fair deal, but I have to see the plugin list. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna check out now. This is the promo vid. It runs natively, yes, and this is what I told you. No UA hardware required. Windows coming fall 2022. And let's see the plugins. Of course, LA2A. It's a great, great collection of of a famous uh, analog machine, and I am using it on every of my projects, and I think this is the best emulation of LA2A a ever, really. It comes from Universal Audio. Another one is 1176, also stellar. I use it all the time. I also do believe that this is the best of the best in the digital world. And then API 2500, I'm not using it. Uh, it's also stellar and, and great. And, oh, that's all from the compressors. Two bundles and a single and a single one. And then reverbs, of course, 224, but I can't see 480L, am I right? Yes, I'm afraid. And I've just got pure plate reverb and Galaxy Tape Echo. It's a new plugin, I think. Preamps EQ Tape, Stutter, yes, A800, uh, good. API Vision, Neve. Of course, Neve 1073, it has to be here. It's a must, another must. And then, this is interesting, instruments. Opal Morphing Synth. It's been uh, teased quite some time ago, I believe. 
And I'm not gonna try it for now because <laughs> no Windows version. And then Ravel Grand Piano, it's been there before. Moog also for Luna Systems, it's been there. And Waterfall B3 Organs. Oh. And that's it. Uh, okay, so the library doesn't seem large right now, and it changes my idea of it being a fair deal. So it's really, it's, it's essential. It's, these are the things that really, really are totally useful. And this, these are the basics, but there's, for example, no manly emulations that I really love. There's no uh, 4ADL by uh, Lexicon. Uh, there are no some other goodies like, uh, for example, TubeTech. Uh, and many, many other. I can't see them here. And, well, I would seriously reconsider the price, seeing that I just have a fraction of what's there for Universal Audio. Hmm. How many plugins can I run? As many as my computer can handle and stuff, blah, blah, blah. I already own some of the UAD plugins available in this subscription. Do I get access to the native version? And this is what I am interested in. And this is the question that everybody owning UAD2 DSP platform is asking right now. Am I eligible to get the plugins I already have for free? Like, I already bought the, the DSP version. Will you give it to me extra or I have to buy it again? And this is great. This is cool news because this is what I was actually afraid of. That they're gonna make me pay again to go native. And I won't have to pay again to go native. But, do I have to go native when I have DSP cards? And this is where the answer to the question, where are you going, Universal Audio, has to be given. The reason this answer must be given <laughs> right here, right now, I would say, is the fact that another audio company, Steinberg, um, announced recently that they are quitting support for VST2 plugins. Yeah, it's the news from January this year, and it's a final step in the transition to VST3. And Steinberg has continued to offer VST2 compatibility, though Mac users with silicon uh, computers, they have to use Rosetta 2 to use VST2. And moreover, Within the next 24 months, Steinberg's host applications and plugins across Mac OS and Windows will offer only VST3 compatibility. And here kicks Universal Audio again, because DSP-based plugins of Universal Audio are only VST2. And that means that some newer, newer versions of Steinberg's DOS, and not only Steinberg's, because Steinberg stopped licensing VST2. This is passing away slowly, and at some point, all the doll makers are going to quit, quit VST2. It was the same with the first version of VST. It's like a normal process of history of audio in the making, right? But it concerns all the users of Universal Audio Platform. What are we going to do? Our DSP cards handle only VST2. And of course, yes, there is a reason for that. All the Universal Audio DSP cards hardware use Shark CPUs for processing audio. And they can only process as VST2. No 3, no go. <laughs> I'm not an audio programmer, if you ask me, but um, VST3 um, format uh, uses CPU dynamically. It allocates resources when there's a signal flow into the plugin. When there's digital silence, when there's a stream of complete zeros, there is no CPU engaged to process the other, which is a great economical approach to using your computer's resources. But it is not possible to do this dynamic allocation with DSP cards based on Shark CPUs. That's why the current version of Universal Audio Platform will never go VST3. It will always be VST2. And that means in a couple of years, it's going to be not usable 
probably a top because everybody's gonna quit VST2. And everybody at Universal Audio knew this, all the Universal Audio users knew it, and this is what sparked this question. Where are we going together with Universal Audio and all the, the marvelous plugins and emulations we have? And the answer came, we are going native, dear users. And I can bet all my money and studio equipment, oh, okay, maybe not studio equipment, that this is where Universal Audio is going right now. They are not preparing any new DSP-based platform uh, VST3 ready. They are just going native. The current computing power of, of, a, of a regular uh, home PC is usually more than enough to mix, to track, to produce music. When you have a beast like I do, um, still for computing power, my DSP cards are not as useful as they used to be even two or three years ago. I have more and more horsepower of my CPU under the hood. That's one of the reasons why any expensive platforms DSP platforms are, are not the future of audio. Everybody will go native. There are some tries, though, to process audio through GPU, like your NVIDIA card, and it's called GPU Audio, for example, and they do some plugins, they encourage you to, to give them a shot because they are processing plugins using the resources of your graphic card that you've got inside your machine. This is kind of an interesting approach, and it's universal because everybody's got an, a, a GPU in their computer, but not mentioning this, all the rest, mainly universal audio, they will go native. And this is the ultimate answer uh, to the question, where are you going, Universal Audio? You're going native and I am going native with you because I repeat, I bet all my money that all the plugins of, of Universal Audio that are there as DSP versions, they will go native and I will get all of them for free to make my transition to the native world as seamless as possible to prevent um, this uh, catastrophe, this disaster that could be like being left with just DSP cards and VST2 format. And that's more or less it, guys. Hmm, and how should I sum the things up for you here? First of all, I'm kind of happy and relieved that um, Universal Audio goes native because this, this prevents a disaster, a possible disaster in the future when users are left with useless DSP cards that are not compatible with, with VST3. And that has been prevented. I'm also happy that I'm gonna use probably all my plugins one day as Spark versions and maybe VST3 support will let me sidechain my Universal Audio plugins finally. That was the missing part, the, the, the pain in the ass of, of VST2 UAD uh, stuff. And well, probably I can also bet some serious money on the fact that, the, that any of the further produ products, further plugins of Universal Audio, gonna be mainly Spark and they are not even gonna be developed as DSP versions because this DSP thing is really going outdated and yes again i'm happy i'm relieved and i really hope to become a spark platform user uh, fall 2022 that's it for today guys the question i was about just to ask in two weeks time from now has just been answered and we all know where universal audio is going take care Keep doing great stuff. Hope to see you soon. Bye.